By radical transparency, I mean transparency at the root. Oftentimes, when making policies, the visible parts above the ground are the ministers and the members of the parliament. However, most policymaking actually takes place at the root, that is the career public service. By making sure that all the meetings that I chair with career public servants, with lobbyists from the private sector, with activists from the social sector, radically open, I make sure that everybody can review the transcripts of other people's positions when it concerns a common issue. That way, people will not get trapped in the silos of virtual realities, but rather will enter a shared realities where people discover potential synergies between their positions and they can find common values. And the great thing for the public service is that oftentimes they have a lot of innovations, but the ministries were not able to realize it. Now through radical transparency, not only they get recognized for the innovations and the innovators get a due credit, but actually the private and the social sector can pick up their ideas and run with it. And so fostering cross-sectoral collaboration is the aim of radical transparency, and that is why I publish all the meetings after 10 days of co-editing with any sector.